was a thing that it was dedicated to God for the sole purpose of destroying it. Ah. <laughs> and remember AI yeah. took that cursed thing uh-huh. and he hid it. Uh-huh. So he became accursed. That's true. So they had to destroy him. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all listen. This is some good teaching here. I should have had apostles uh Sharon Peters up in here as well. <laughs> Cause Still to date, her show was the number one show on the Sir Walter Jones show. Mm. We were talking about the Jezebel spirit. Oh yeah, yeah. That's a system now. That's a, oh yes, it is a it's system. It's a system. Yeah, yeah. Male yeah. and female. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. So it's it's crazy. So I think this might be number two. <laughs> Listen, we got to get to the break, pay a bill, and uh, we're gonna come right back. This is UBM Sir Walter Jones show. Worried about paying your light bill? Care programs offer help so you can stay in the light. To see if you qualify, visit comed.com backslash care or call 888-806-CARE. Broadcasting all over the world at urbanbroadcastmedia.com. Delivering love and inspiration 24-7. This is UBM Praise. Worried about paying your light bill? Care programs offer help so you can stay in the light. To see if you qualify, visit comed.com backslash care or call 888-806-CARE. ComEd presents the power of staying in the light. Having trouble juggling all your bills? Are you worried about the lights getting turned off? ComEd Care programs can help you keep the lights on. Care programs offer help to those facing financial hardships. All inquiries are confidential. To see if you qualify, visit comed.com slash care or call 1-888-806-CARE. ComEd, powering lives. Grant amounts may vary while funds are available. And now, our feature presentation. A Sir Walter Jones. Who is it? A Sir Walter Jones. What's his name? A Sir Walter Jones. Who show is this? A Sir Walter Jones. The Sir Walter Jones Show with co-host Alvin Carter. We are a Christian talk show in which we tackle all the hot topics in the believer's walk. It's Theology Thursday. If you love the Word of God, grab your Bibles and let's see what thus saith the Lord. Join Elder Jones and Pastor Carter in some good old-fashioned Bible study. ComEd presents the power of staying in the light. Having trouble juggling all your bills? Are you worried about the lights getting turned off? ComEd Care programs can help you keep the lights on. Care programs offer help to those facing financial hardships. All inquiries are confidential. To see if you qualify, visit comed.com slash care or call 1-888-806-CARE. ComEd, powering lives. Grant amounts may vary when funds are available. Welcome back, welcome back. We're talking about the uh, speaking in tongues. Have they ceased? Have speaking in tongues ceased? I'm looking at some of these Facebook comments and I am cracking up. Uh, we mentioned the word faggot being a cigarette, uh, the original term uh, meaning. And uh, Sharon says, I need a faggot after that statement. <laughs> Lord Jesus, yeah, save she's her just soul. Not the same unless she has a fag in her mouth. Yeah, yeah there you go. Um, um, the Nally chiming in, Apostle Sharon Peters chiming in, uh, Abronia Scott. Father, I it. It. <laughs> she is here. She's chiming in. <laughs> oh man, we've got them. We've I, it's just so many here. We'll go there. Alvin Carter, who's supposed to be grading papers, he said, "Oh, I wish I was there." <laughs> Alvin, we miss you, man. Yes, that yes. very white voice of yours. Yeah. <laughs> we miss you, cool um, brother, cool brother. Absolutely, a maiden, sweet ray of sunshine. That's Rachel, y'all. Mm. She's chimed in, man. Good stuff. I, I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to read some of these. As 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 we continue in the discussion, your your good friend and mine, Elder Kevin McGee, is is here. Oh, cool! He chimed in, and so uh, that's they, my boy, Kevin. Yeah, they 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 doing it. Bishop Tommy Hayden, Larry Brown, Greg Johnson. So they're there. I I've acknowledged you now. Let me move on. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, now 
uh, uh, First Corinthians 12 and 4 now Let's continue Okay mm-hmm. Now there are diversities of gifts Meaning what that mean Diversities Diverse is different Multiple Multiple, Multiple. Okay Sorry. But but the same spirit mm-hmm. Alright mm-hmm. w- What spirit uh, The Holy, Holy spirit. spirit Okay And there are differences of administrations But the same Lord Uh huh Okay And there are diversities of operations But it is the same God Which worketh all in all As Right here for those who don't believe in the Trinity, okay, you see the God here. Yeah. Notice it said Spirit. Yeah. What was the next one? Uh, where was that? You, oh, was oh, the uh, 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 diversity Spirit and the same Spirit. Same Spirit. There are different administrations, but same Lord. That's the Lord, the okay. Son. Uh huh. And there are d- diversities of operations, but the, but same, the same God. God. You see, God the Father, God the Son, and God yeah, the Holy Ghost. Absolutely. Spirit. Yes. You see, the Holy Spirit is what gives the gift. Yes. The son Jesus He places you In the specific category mm-hmm. For instance If the Holy Ghost uh, Gives you the gift Of teaching mm-hmm. Jesus will place you In a particular ministry mm-hmm. And then it's God That energizes it To cause it To come to effect <laughs> So you see the God Here working together Yes sir Yes sir Ta-da. That is That's it <laughs> <laughs> And it's amazing How they they, they they work together As a wonderful team And you never see them Separated Never Or when they're speaking They speak of one another One another For instance God, God says Well listen you, you can't come to me Except you come through Jesus Exactly And then Jesus says Well you can't you come, come to me, me Except, except the Father, Father draw you <laughs> And it's the Holy Ghost uh-huh. Is the one that he draws yes, them with There you go And what you read in 3 yes. uh, Verse 3 about the uh, You can't call Jesus Lord Lord Except through the You've never seen Jesus mm-hmm. right. Never Right So how do you know who he is That's true It's the Holy Ghost That Have reveals to, make, yeah. to you who he is uh-huh. And that's when you make a confession Based on the Holy Ghost Showing you who he, was, he I is I see Because you was never there I see But because of the Holy Ghost uh-huh. Showed you uh-huh. It caused you to be there Because the Holy Ghost was there mm. That's right So he mm. is the witness He is the witness You know that's yes. rather interesting yeah. Yes Especially with uh, How those folks that come by and knock on your door all the time. The mm. witnesses? <laughs> yeah. The other witnesses? Oh, I thought you yeah. my family members. <laughs> right, right. Because that was big for <laughs> my <friends>. in-laws. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, how, how they have a certain thing. Well, how do you know something if mm-hmm. you weren't there? Yes. Hence their um, ideology behind why we don't do this, why don't we don't do that, why we, you know, the whole nine yards. But once that particular point you brought up has been presented to them, mm-hmm. They don't knock on your door anymore. That's the truth. You're that is true. Right. He is they so don't right. knock on mine no more. No, they don't. They, yeah. It's been a long time since they knocked on your door. <laughs> yes, sir. But I yeah. want to tell you this: if you want to rid your your neighborhood of crime and, and all them thugs and, and gang members, you call on the the, uh, the, the witness. Jehovah witness. Jehovah witness. <laughs> God, they will. They clean. better than the guardian angels. Yes, they bro. are. They'll clean that street. <laughs> or or yes, like, I call, like I call them the protective cherubs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they are. <laughs> Even though they say only 144,000 of them will get to heaven. Right. So I, I feel sorry for the 145th well, thousand. Yeah, yeah, he in trouble. <laughs> he in trouble. Get heaven, <laughs> get okay. Uh, but the manifestations of the Spirit is given to every man to to prove, uh, to uh, profit. profit with all. Mm-hmm. To how many men? Every man. Wow. So watch this. Four to one is given. Now, now look at this packet order, Rodney. Mm-hmm. Because I heard coming up that if you do not speak in tongues you do not have the holy ghost mm-hmm. and if you do not have the holy ghost you are going to hell right this was the teaching That's in in the been. church yes true. all right in uh-huh. the Pente- i'm not going to name it did not i'm just say the pentecostal church right okay this is still today i still hear in that teaching mm-hmm. you if you're not speaking in tongues you don't have the holy ghost mm-hmm. and i know the scripture that they use i do too okay mm-hmm. Now, which, Wait, which telling them no, it's not. Well, no, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> right, right. But which, which is, which is saying to me because it's got to be about logic, okay? Yes. Which is saying to me that that must be number one. Mm-hmm. It's, it's, it must be at the top then. The mm-hmm. the that particular gift. Now, some then they'll say the defense is well, it's not so much the gift because you can speak one time and that's it. You got it. As long as you speak, that means that's the evidence, mm-hmm. okay? Mm-hmm. And they're not. Thinking about any other evidence, that's the one. Right. But wasn't means, the evidence supposed to be for the unsaved, not the saved? We'll get there in a minute. Okay, I'm sorry. Retract. <laughs> Shut up and teach. Right, you got 50 <laughs> more seconds. I'm sorry. Right. Judge my honor. I'd like to okay. strike that. No, no, I, I said that because of what I'm getting ready to read. Okay. Watch this. Eight, uh, verse 8. Four to, four to one is given the spirit of the word of wisdom. Mm-hmm. What is that? The, the word of wisdom is when you have a, uh, I think wisdom is the applied knowledge is okay. what we say. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, the word of knowledge, you have to, they, they twin sisters. Okay. Okay. The word of knowledge tells me if you got a sickness, uh-huh. I have no clue of you or your sickness, uh-huh. but the spirit will reveal to me okay. that this took place when you were six years old. Okay. Which one is that? Word That's knowledge. All right. Good. Now, I'm about to tell you how, how to remove it. That's good. That's the word of wisdom. wisdom. That's when you take knowledge and apply it and use it the proper way. Wonderful way of putting that. Uh, very logical. Very logical. Mm-hmm. And that was word of wisdom right there. Um, <laughs> to another faith. Mm-hmm. What's that? Faith is your trust. It's your belief and it's your dependence upon God. So some people have the gift of it. Yes. That's an extraordinary, extraordinary gift, gift. Because this particular faith is what moves mountains. Okay. All right. See, a lot of us get faith after something has happened. I see. This comes straight from God. Which can cause something to happen. Which can cause something to happen. Man, I tell you. To another faith by the same spirit, to another gifts of healing by the same spirit. What is that? Uh, gifts of healing. Okay. Uh, when you praying for someone and mm-hmm. they can be healed, mm-hmm. which is another topic you should go on because yeah, I will. a lot of people think that healing no longer exists. Okay. But <laughs> notice what it said with uh-huh. an S. Uh-huh. Gifts right. of healing. Right. Not just gift okay. of healing. So uh, a person can be healed by uh, me speaking it or me Touching, yes, or, exactly. And, and these are things that Jesus did. He did either or. He did either. He or. didn't even have to be in the room. When That's they, right. Okay. And today you still don't have to be, but for no. some reason we think that, that they have, have to, to touch you. Yeah, you have to be in church in the line, and you have to come in line. Uh huh. But and and that shows you that their faith yes. is in yes. what you do. That's true, and not so much as in God. Right. Because right. if I say if you're sick, stand. Yeah. The next thing you wanted me to say is come down, come down. the aisle. That's true. If I don't call you, come down the aisle. Right. Chances are your faith is going to get small. That is you're true. You're not going to get healed. That's true. And I, and some have uh, went against themselves by thinking that you need to be there because then they'll say, well, the, for the ones who are not here, here, take this cloth or take yes. this and take it home. To old work. folk used to say, God, mm-hmm. go to yes, go to that hospital uh-huh, room uh-huh, uh-huh. and and yeah. do it. Do what you do. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, to another, the working of miracles. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh, and uh, miracles is another thing uh, that we believe does not exist. Right. Life is a miracle. It is. Anything that the doctor can't even do. Yeah. Uh, anything that is done without medicine. Yeah. Is a miracle. So, so uh, we we always put the whole miracle on God himself mm-hmm. and that we we can't cause a miracle to happen. It's right. always okay. He empowered uh, you, you to perform, to perform the, miracle. the miracle. Yes. Exactly. And that's why it said gift. Uh-huh. In other words, you have that gift to yeah. perform miracles. That's, yeah. We do know that like Paul said, it's not I. Right. But the Christ that lives in me. In you. me. Yes. He's in you. So uh-huh. therefore you are empowered to perform <laughs> the miracles. Some good stuff. To another prophecy. Mm-hmm. That's the speaking of the word of God. Uh-huh. Uh, prophecy is another term for prophecy is preach. Uh-huh. Rodney, let me tell you, I am so glad you said that. I'm glad you said that. Too. <laughs> <laughs> because I got to do a show on that, mm-hmm. but we're going to have to touch on it as we keep reading down here, because that is an important statement you just made. Yes. Because we assume that all prophecy is me speaking into your life mm-hmm. of something that's to come or a um, a predicting a, the future, a prediction, the future. Yada, yada, forecast, yada. or something like that. And, and everybody who has the Holy Ghost, the Call Bible says, He will show Nine, seven, you six. things to yeah, come. come. Uh huh. <clears throat> you know, mm-hmm. and in this day and time, and I know this is not part of the show. In this day and time, people don't come to church for a preach word. Right. They come to church for a prophetic Pro- prophetic word. word. That's but right. the preacher. Is, is doing the same, the same thing, thing that, that the, the prophet, prophet is doing, <laughs> speaking the word of God. I hope y'all are hearing this on. F- yeah, see, yeah, they saying preach, Rodney, preach. <laughs> so you saying then, in essence, mm-hmm. yeah. when the sermon come down, if it's just the Lord's Supper, what Jesus went through in the tail end, you know, in his last days of his last hours, mm-hmm. there is prophetic message in that. Yes. How so? Because the term prophesy means to speak yes. the yeah. the voice or the mind of God. Uh-huh. When a preacher preaches, he's preaching the voice or the mind of God. Mm-hmm. In the old church, the prophet was more 
Mm-hmm. Uh, 